Hi, Shabbat Shalom. This is Alana Ain, and I'm here with you doing Take Home Torah with Congregation Beth Shalom. This is the Parsha Vayagash for Saturday, December 25th. In this uh, exciting resolution to the cliffhanger from last week, it's the culmination of the dramatic events which lead to Joseph revealing his true identity to his brothers. So now this is the first time since he was sold into slavery that all 12 sons of Jacob are united and this becomes the 12 tribes of Israel. So my connection to this story and really I'd say to all of the stories in our Torah come from two places. The first is from my grandmother, who used to read me these stories from her silver-plated Bible when I would sleep over as a child. And the second is through art, through artistic or literary representations of these stories and texts. So for the 12 tribes of Israel, I have a combination of these things because my grandmother, Mamam Ethel of blessed memory, had just adored and took great pride in the work of the Jewish artist Marc Chagall and his stained glass in particular. And one piece uh, that she would tell me about were these windows in Jerusalem, these stained glass windows at the Hadassah Medical Center in Ain Karim in Jerusalem, these representations of the 12 tribes of Israel, this Marc Chagall piece. And uh, one summer, about I don't know, 20 years ago, my brother and I were traveling through Israel together. We were in Jerusalem, and this was on our list of things that we had to see while we were there. So uh, I guess, you know, in classic fashion as a 20-year-old in a different country, we, we got close to this medical center where we needed to be. But we were, I guess, at the foot of I Googled to check myself. I'm calling it a hill, but I would say I don't think anyone would dispute if I called it a small mountain. So we're at the foot of this thing. And of course, you know, I'm in my long sleeve and long skirts and my sandals. And I just remember walking up what felt like this endless spiral with my brother in the Jerusalem sun. And we finally get to the top to this medical center to uh, enter the chapel where these 12 stained glass windows are. And we, we do get there and we walk in and we I just, I just remember standing there <laughs> drenched in sweat and taking them in and really, you know, seeing how each one, the colors and the shapes and for each tribe stood on its own and then how they kind of worked together. And when you stand there in that white room, how the light just converged and you, and you have all of them at once. So this is, you know, one of these things that, that, we, that happen in our lives. We take in something that we kind of worked to see and it's beautiful and then it, it stays with us. It stays with us for however long. And maybe it comes up again and maybe it doesn't. Um, for me, it came up about 15 years later when I was pregnant with my son. I woke up with the last line of a poem and I constructed the rest of it around that last line about this experience of seeing these windows, um, the 12 tribes uh, of Marc Chagall. And what I love about poetry, and I think that this relates to the story of Joseph, is how our unconscious mind and our artistic mind, uh, in much of the way that the dream mind and unconscious works, we sometimes know things uh, before we know them in a conscious or different realm. When I will look back at things I've written years, even decades later, I will understand it differently uh, than when I wrote it. I seem to know something in that realm that's slightly different than what I know in the waking and conscious realm. So that's another way uh, and connection that I feel uh, that I feel tied to Joseph in this story. So this poem, uh, the only thing I'll tell you about it is, is that the last line came to me. I woke up with that last line when I was about six or seven months pregnant with Samson. And, um, and I built the rest of the poem around it. So that's what I'm going to leave you with uh, on this Shabbat and for this take-home Torah.
The Twelve Tribes for Mark Chagall. Jacob's sons scattered, became the people of Israel, projected on these white walls by your wild hands. Through yellow glass and orange and blue, color bleeding prophets onto my face, my sweaty limbs. What became of their descendants after these swirling scenes multiplied through the Russian Revolution, two world wars, after dislocation and exile and immigration, you lived near 100 years and said, I feel as if colors and lines flow like tears from my eyes, though I do not weep. And still, it feels endless, who begot who and their bloodshed, this covenant, but when I beheld the light pouring through that glass, I said, whoever made this was saved by creation. Everywhere he went, there were angels. Shabbat Shalom.